so basically, guys, Halo Infinite Season 2 launched. And it's bad. And the game sucks, and 343 is bad, and they should have had the game taken away from them. What is freaking, what is Phil doing? Why is Bonnie Ross still in charge of anything? She can't even wipe her own ass. It's bad. And uh, the game updated, and certain players were kind of confused when a line of test code was left in the game. Uh, so basically, 343 left in a line of dummy code in the update that replaces the season one title, Heroes of Reach, with the text, Moochers of Reach. Uh, the joke is insinuating that 343 believes the Halo Infinite players that are asking for content are moochers. I think this is despicable. So here's what's happening, right? Let me break it down for you real quick, okay? They release an unfinished product before it's ready. Early. It was in beta, dude. Early. It doesn't matter. They released it early. It's unfinished. Missing uh, everything that makes Halo good except for the core gameplay loop, right? Yeah, it felt good. Yeah, so no Forge, no co-op, uh, lackluster monetization. This is a live service they launched, right? But you might say, oh, but it's a free-to-play game, blah, 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 blah. No. They have fumbled the franchise for years. This is just another misstep in it, right? Then they get pissed off when the people that are playing, interacting with their live service product, right, are getting bit dismal updates. The game doesn't work in certain areas. Big Team Battle didn't work for months. And yet they're saying, oh, our team's going to take a break and do this, this, and this. Oh, by the way, we're going to have another season. It's going to last another 12 years, right? So you'll finish the Battle Six Pass. Months. You'll finish the Battle Pass in four days. And then, you know, we'll see you we'll see you next year. I know point. you were kidding when you said 12 years, but like it, it is six months, and that is a very ridiculous. Long time. It's ridiculous yeah. for a live service game. You now have a live service game that's gonna be out for two years, and you've done major updates to it twice. No, get out. You're bad. So they're taking flack from the community for all these things. They probably got pissed off internally. So they add this nice little Easter egg. Oops, you left it in the game. Guess what? Joke's on you. Your game is bad, and you suck. And you should all be fired. And this game should not exist. And Halo should or Xbox should shut down 343. I still don't understand why they have like why why are they involved with Halo? They shit the bed three times now. Yeah. And it's a shame because the core game is good. That's what makes it that's what's almost the worst part about it. The worst part is, in my opinion, the only people that would see this are the people that are still playing their game. Right, so which was like, what, like ten? So they're just insulting the people that are actually still yeah, playing their shitty game. The diehards. Yeah. So this this has a little whiny bitch baby written all over it. And are opinion. people really are do they really think that the people asking for content are moochers? Is that fair to ask for content? Are I don't think so. What? Name another live service game that didn't have an update for six months. It ha it hasn't happened before because it's a live service game. They shouldn't you, have launched you want you want to you want to keep people involved with it? You gotta update your fucking live game with content and fix it. And they didn't, and right, therefore dude. you had ten people on Steam playing your game. Dude, it's okay. Forge is coming out finally in August in beta. No, it's not. No, it's not, dude. It is. It's in not. Beta. It's not happening. Co-op is not happening. Both of those should have been out by now, which is what they said, and it's not. Steven, so, do you have anything? Do you have anything to say? Because I want to kind of pivot to a different topic here on Halo. I mean, to Josh's point, like the fact they still have the franchise, like after, you would think after Master Chief Collection, like because that was we didn't like the debacle that that was, and it fi they finally got like I feel like with games like it, you can get it. Almost anyone can get it right, but it takes a long time. Like No Man's Sky is another example where like it was launched and it was a total joke. Mm -hmm. And like it took some time. And like sometimes you need the time. And it's hard to draw the line where like it's 343's fault and like the developer, like for lack of a better word, like grunt work fault. And like this development culture in general for like big budget games is just not sustainable. Mm -hmm. But like the live service pivot and like, I mean, they still charge $60. Like you had to pay 60 if you wanted to buy it physically for or if you didn't have game like, pass yeah i didn't so i definitely like wouldn't pay for it and you know, like you guys said like after a while like you 
you can beat the battle pass pretty easily and then there's just nothing to do and it's i i don't know it's uh it's kind of like baffling i don't really understand like what they're doing if i don't know if it's working for them like behind the scenes they have like well this many people are playing it as this x amount percent of attachment right so you know we can keep going with this like status quo but i mean you're not going to get like the next big hit doing that way like yeah. if you're okay with that smaller audience then and maybe some people you have a little spikes when your battle passes come out your new season rolls out then okay mm -hmm. but but they know. they had so i mean i think it comes down to leadership and a lack of it at that studio a lack of balls by xbox actually to be like you're done and then also like you <sighs> I just completely lost my train of thought. That was wild. Every, every thought. Wait, no, it's important. Hang on. You had the attention of the entire world for weeks. Your game was number one, right? You were super popular. That was the time to cash out, literally, yeah. and get people in forever. I mean, I'm still playing fucking Apex Legends four years after it's come out. It's that first impression. You like squander the opportunity. They they fumbled it. They fumbled it without any support. And that was the moment to keep people's attention and they missed it. And what's really telling is that aside from I'm not talking about the public numbers on Steam, which before the battle pass was like in the thousands, like very low. They talked all about their, their console numbers at launch. Crickets since then. Because nobody was playing. Nobody was playing. That's very telling. So, um, they're bad. A few, That's yeah, it. a few weeks ago, uh, it actually some people were tweeting that uh, I think it was Chris Raygun from Last Stand mm -hmm. Media. Uh, he was saying that Halo Infinite spent a lot of its time actually in the weird development phase where they were trying different game types, yeah, instead of the traditional Halo, yeah. And at one point, it was actually going to be an Overwatch clone, yeah. And that was like what Halo Infinite was for a long time, and what two years before the game actually came out they finally decided no we can't like it's it's not working overwatch is not even popular anymore really they and then they they shifted over to the traditional halo uh so really if that's true that's two years of development time i need to say something now because i didn't even know that why couldn't you just do what bungie did like why are you trying to like shoehorn shit that's not halo into halo you did it with Halo 5, and it was a fucking disaster. Objectively, that game is not fun. It's bad. The, the, I mean, the the like the campaign system with the healing... And, I mean, literally, I, I thought I was playing like an entirely different franchise. And like, you had Halo 1 through 3. As good a trilogy of a video game trilogy as I've ever played. And then you, you're trying to make it like over... Like, why? Not only like, that, but there's also the uh, Battle Royale rumors as well. Remember when the game first yeah. was announced, yeah. people were saying it was going to have a Battle Royale. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was one of the test modes as well. You know, and, but and now the, I was going to say the new game mode actually is that they just added yeah. is like a Battle Royale. Really? Yeah. And I'm OK with them like messing with that. But it gets what it gets down to is like the talent is just not as good as it was. The, yeah. Right. Yeah. Like the story, like to me, for me, like I play games for like the story. I don't really do much multiplayer other than with you fellas. Mm -hmm. But like the Halo story, like for as ridiculous as it was, was compelling. It built like it built atmosphere. The music was outstanding. Um, the gra well, graphics are, you know, take at the time. Away, but, at the time. Yeah, when the, I mean, when they weren't the bad out. and it was innovative for the time. And they just it just lost its spark. And I think. It's not a coincidence. It coincided with Bungie leaving. Yeah. And unfortunately, like Bungie moved. And in my opinion, they took a step down also from what they had done. Yeah. It's like you had the perfect thing going. And I guess, you you know, people want to do something different, you know, after a while. You don't want to keep doing the same shit yeah. for like your entire lifespan. But well, to be fair, Be uh, Destiny is very close to Halo. So were they really doing anything different? Not really different i mean they just completely basically leaned into the multiplayer aspect yeah, yeah. of it they just walked away from a good thing they had going yeah, yeah. uh while they were ahead get it. but yeah so the, chris reagan had a source has a source within 
Bungie that was like for most of its life cycle, it was in development cycle. It was or not within Bungie within three four three that it was not that and i think that's evident right so all those director changes that game was in such a bad state obviously yeah for a long time staten came in who has experience with it and made it what it is and it was a good call to put it back to its roots because that's all it ever needed to be that's what all everybody has anybody has ever wanted halo to be since four before four came out continue the story it's interesting you, it's not complicated you don't have to make it complicated be and more of the same and continue the arena shooter that's all you had to do, and you fucked it up several times, and you almost really fucked it up again, and then when you didn't fuck it up and you had it right, you fucked it up by not supporting it. If 343 makes another Halo game, I think Phil Spencer should not have a job, because it stops somewhere, dude, and he's the head of it. You gotta... Bonnie Ross, that studio, they have to be gone. They have to be gone. They're done. They're done. If I was Phil Spencer, they would have been done before 4 came out. I put my eyes on it, I'd be like, nope, bye. This is our most important franchise, and you fucked it up. That's the most baffling part. It's the most, it's literally their most important franchise. Halo they, is so important to the Xbox. And they, they don't treat it that way. They don't. They really they, don't. Well, honestly, they're mo- now that they bought Minecraft, that's the most important franchise, if we're being honest. At least a moneymaker. Yeah, but as yeah. far as like, I mean, Master Chief's helmet is on the fucking chips in your console. Yeah. Come it's their on, biggest bro. original, you know, on, their biggest yeah. original hit. Hey, the the days of Halo and Gears are done. Yeah, and I agree, Josh, friend of the pod, Phil Spencer. Like, the buck's got to stop somewhere. It's disappointing. Like, I don't know if like, I if like they're in the green when they look at quarterly fiscal reports and they're like, okay, probably, you know, which we'll is a shame. It. Yeah, he's too but, nice, dude. But and all you have to do, and then we can move on. I've been on this for a while. All you have to do, I go back to it. I'll, I'll go back to that well a thousand times. Listen to the interview of Bonnie Ross with Ryan McCaffrey. Listen to her speak about Halo and video games. She doesn't know what the hell is going on. That's it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Haptic Intel. Did you do it? Subscribe right now.